This is a Husqvarna mower that starts up super easy and it has an electric start, which is right here. You turn this key and it starts up, but the battery is dead as most of them you find used are. And this is what the battery looks like. These things sell for 60 bucks or more, depending on which one you get. If you get the Husk official Husqvarna one or just a knockoff one. Well, today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this mower to start off of a Ryobi battery instead. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Here's the original adapter that was on the battery that I cut off. And when you cut these off, make sure you only cut one wire at a time in case there's still voltage in there. You don't short them together, that would be bad. But I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try to use these Ryobi batteries. And I got this adapter that I'm going to mount onto the mower. It'll just, the batteries just sl slide into it. And uh, I'll take the wires here and connect them to this. So that way this can connect right up to the mower with no modifications to the mower itself, other than potentially a hole for this to go into. Now this is the battery box that is on the back of the Husqvarna where the battery sits inside. And I think this should be able to mount up on the front of the mower. I'm gonna mount it, cut a hole in the front of it, and it'll mount through, mount through into this box and then the wires will come out and connect to the rest of the mower. But that way this can stay connected to the mower all the time. And then I can, as I need to, I can just put the batteries in. When I'm done, take them out, charge them, put them back in again. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. And I think it should work fine. This is 12 volts, these are uh, 18 volts. So it's gonna be a little bit higher voltage going through the starter than probably what's recommended for it. But it's just the risk I'm willing to take. It's only gonna be for a short amount of time each time. Uh, so, I don't know, if it burns up, it burns up, I can still pull start it. So, here we go. Here we're looking at the back of the mower, and like I said, I'm gonna mount this thing up here on the, from the front, it'll slide through, and these wires are gonna be way too long. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut this fuse off and probably save it for later. This wire already has a fuse in it, a 40, 40 uh, amp fuse in it, so, that way, if it does burn out, the fuse is outside of the box that goes on here because I don't want to have to be pulling this box on and off every time the fuse burns out or if it burns out. But uh, Well, this came with the little wire adapter in here, so I was going to try to solder them, but I was having problems getting the soldering iron that hot to melt those. Anyway, so, this so here's the hole now with a little bit of uh, drill and razor knife. Uh, magic. So let's see if this fits. Oh yeah, very tight. All right, I'm going to try to squish this down in here all the way down. Mm, there we go. Pretty nice. Slight change of plan. I was testing the voltage and this thing was not working. So now I just, you can see here, I just have them crimped together. So All right, the adapter is in. The uh, little cover underneath is on there so it doesn't look messy on the back the 40 volt amp or 40 amp fuse is good so let's go ahead and put this battery in and this is a full battery i hope yeah full battery all right there we go start it up and here goes the test oh yeah works great here we go one more time Oh, maybe. It's hard to hold. <laughs> hard to get it with one hand. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So there's no charging on the motor, on the lawnmower. So you, you have to pull this off and charge it on your regular charger. But if it gets low, just charge it up, put it back on. No big deal. I already got, I'm already using all these batteries in a rotation with my drills. Anyway. That is a way that I converted this electric start lawnmower to use Ryobi batteries. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments and I will try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching. One more time. Twelve volt system, running on eighteen volts. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. We'll try. Oh, yeah.